So it is Monday morning. Um, I got up at 5 a.m. I did a meditation and some motivational work. Tidied the house up a bit and did a load of laundry. Um, normally I would be down at Bondi Beach, but I've got Rocco this morning, so that is not possible. Um, our weekend was, um, for me, very frugal, but absolutely jam-packed. We went to um, Newcastle. We I've never been to Newcastle before. We got up at 4.30 in the morning. I packed heaps of snacks in the car for Rocco so he wouldn't get hungry, but I forgot to pack snacks for Tom and myself. So we spent, I spent $15 on, because we had to pull into a service station, which is the most expensive place to buy snacks. I think I bought a banana, two bottles of water, because I forgot to put water for us, and um, two like tiny little chocolate things, and it was like $15. Um, we went, caught up with Tom's family, which was so nice. Um, and then we went to the Hunter Valley to celebrate our friends um, who've just got engaged. And um, they have these beautiful horses um, on their property. So we got to, Rocco got to um, go for a horse ride, which was gorgeous, and um, pick pears and feed the horses. It was so much fun. Um, we drove back to Sydney um, on like sort of late afternoon, um, early evening on Saturday. And then um, on Sunday, Rocco and I just, we hung out. In the morning, we went down to Bondi Beach, which cost nothing. Um, we looked at all the beautiful art along the boardwalk, which was gorgeous. And I, it's funny, I've, even though I'm down at Bondi so many times per week, I never actually stop and look at the street art. And along the promenade, there is there are so many amazing paintings of local artists that get changed regularly. And it was actually Rocco that pointed the art out because he was like, oh, look at the... Um, paper origami birds they were really cool um I also took Rocco to um, the skateboarding rank just to watch um the other kids and he was in awe of these incredible skateboarders and like how high they were getting and all the tricks that they were turning it was just incredible we went and got some a juice which was um I think a waste of money um I got a juice for myself which was basically mainly ice um and not that tasty Rocco got a beautiful um, berry juice, which actually was really nice. Um, and I got some protein balls, um, which are, I'm obsessed with. They're so good. Um, I don't think they're that healthy. But um, that was pretty much all the money we spent um, this weekend. Um, not much at all. So I actually have quite a bit of money left over from my budget allocation. However, um, last night I was thinking, you know, Tom is so incredibly generous. Um, like he... He likes to take me out to dinner sometimes and, and hang out with Rocco and he's incredibly generous, you know, with his time as well. And, you know, he um, paid for lunch for everyone to celebrate our friend's engagement. So the other day I was doing um, the laundry and I noticed a few of his work shorts have holes in all the wrong places. Now, Tom is a, he's an equine physio. Um, he get, like, basically treats horses in particular race horses and gives them acupuncture and um like relieves pain for them and he's really talented as his job but he's pretty much standing in horse poo all day so i decided instead of putting the money that i have left over into the money tin i have um decided i was gonna there's a great sale on a country road where they've got um shorts on sale and they've also got like you spend a certain amount of money, you get a certain amount off, and it's a really good value deal. So this morning I um, you know, jumped online and picked up a couple of pairs of new work shorts for Tom, and I think he'll really appreciate that because he never gets time to actually go to the shops himself and buy these things. So, you know, it's got me thinking about, you know, things I'm learning and the awareness I'm gaining from doing Frugal February. And, you know, from buying Rocco some new clothes the other day and you know a gift for Tom's sister-in-law sister-in-law's baby I realized I'm happy to be frugal to myself if it means that there's money left over that I can um, use to do nice things um, for the people that I love and um, I am 37 years old I can't believe it's taken me that long to figure it out but I now understand this from doing Frugal February. 
Well, I had better get Rocco some breakfast. I am on Channel 9's Today Extra this morning, so I've got to go and prepare for what I am talking about on the segment with Sonia Kruger and David Campbell. But um, I hope everyone had a great weekend and happy Monday, everyone.